I don't really have a medium I work with. I respond to the context quite a lot. Uh, but I do often find myself working with technology. It's a sculptural practice. It's, uh, it has time uh, as a material that I deal with generally. And it connects to the context of the site or the, uh, the community that it's operating within. For New 13, I decided to take the building of Acker as a starting point for the work. I was interested in how the building uh, forms a relationship to, the, to its audience, to the people that come visit it. And part of this relationship is a isolation from its surrounding environments, kind of a blockage to the outside environment. One of the ways it does this is by not having any windows or having a very few number of windows. And I was interested in the challenge of uh, bringing that environment that it sits in into the building, into the, the far back space of, of the gallery. When I first had the idea, I thought, well, is it even possible? So I bought some uh, cheap mirrors and I set up um, eight mirrors and managed to get the light all the way down to the back of the gallery space. But of course, all I was after at that point was a moment of sunlight. But for the show to operate, then you need to have, you need an ability to track the sun. And so this, this became the technical challenge of the work, really. How do you have these mirrors knowing where the sun is, even if the sun's not out, even on an overcast day, so that, so that when the sun does come out, you get this opportunity to have sunlight in the back space. There's four paths that the sunlight takes. So there's, there's four mirrors on the roof of Akka, on the edge of the building, that track the sun. So the first mirror out of all four paths is a moving mirror. And this mirror uh, has a microprocessor on board it that controls a pan and a tilt of the mirror. The second mirror in the series is a target mirror. And this has sensors on the mirror that tells it when the sunlight is, is striking the mirror. These two mirrors communicate wirelessly. The target mirror knows when the sunlight is going slightly off target. So when, it, when this happens, it sends a signal to the tracking mirror to adjust itself. So when the light reaches the back space, there are two balloon shapes and these forms have the potential to respond to the energy that's in the light. By the time the light gets to the back space, it's lost a large amount of its energy. So it's a very fragile kind of beam that enters the back space. The balloon forms are based on solar uh, hot air balloons. If they were outside and they were in full sunlight, then they would have enough lift to lift themselves uh, off the ground. In the back of Acker, it is a proposition that may or may not happen. It's a long way for the light to travel to the back space and it's going through 33 mirrors. So each time it, it reflects off a mirror, you lose 10 to 20% of your energy. I was quite surprised by the quality of the light when it arrived in that space and the fragileness of that. And there's something about the forms, the, those large bodies, uh, they're, they're quite fragile as well. And you can get a sense of that from the way the light passes through that material. It's quite a thin skin. The sunlight for me talks about a kind of precarious relationship to the sun and our planet in relation to the sun. And it, it has a very tentative balance going on there, I think. I'm not sure where the inspiration comes from. And I'm unsure where the desire to do work in the first place comes from. It's a, it can be at times frustrating and, and uh, a quite a testing experience. A lot of my work involves a um, problem solving kind of approach to the project and a high degree of experimentation and there's a joy I find within both those things.